Cheers to y'all. Happy Home Brew Wednesday. Hold on. Uh-oh. I got Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We Wait, might have a late entry here, folks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, obviously, I'm very satisfied with this beer, but um, I got to do another shout-out. Uh-huh. To, uh, to us, our brother, him and I found this beer. Uh, uh, one of my uh, wine stewards told me about it. It's called Chain Breaker. It's a white IPA by Deschutes Brewery, which is also the one that makes uh, the Abyss. But... Uh, We've been seeing here in the Northwest, and in general, um, a lot of companies uh, going and uh, and taking more of a of a different approach on IPAs. Yeah, you're, you're I, gonna bust it open. Yeah, we're gonna bust it open. Oh, we're gonna try yeah. this. This is gonna be a little bit different, but uh, I want to do a little. I just want to do a shout out. It was really good, and I was impressed on uh, on how it tasted. So, as you guys can tell, look at the coloring on that. I mean, it is really white. You'd, you'd be thinking that you're drinking uh, a Hefeweizen or something, right? Is that not what it looks like to you? Yeah. Yeah. So, you're I mean, right. it's, it's beautifully colored. And We're getting happier, folks. We keep reviewing hey, now. Why not? But uh, I just want to say it's a great tasting beer, and I just wanted to see what your opinion on it was, Dad. <laughs> So let's do a real what quick drink and uh, let's do this. Whoa! Okay, yeah. So I gotta tell you right. It's off hoppy, the top. by the way. It's hoppy. Okay. Is this is this Cascade? This has got to be Cascade. It's got to be Cascade ale, but or hops, but. Oh, I gotta tell you this. So if if you ever open up, you know, because I'm a package have of Cascade hops when you first open it, there. and get the nose off of it. Again, I'm not Mr. Hops. I'm not a hop hit. But boy, there's something Cascade about hops, opening sir. up Cascade Hops and putting your nose to it. Now, again, I might be wrong on this, but... Alright, so here's to this. Try it out. It's just singing. And it has a little clover smell to it, too. Some clove in there. Gotta clear out the honey beer. A rinse? Isn't that delightful? It's not as strong as you would think with hops. It's a, it's a lot lighter. It has a very and strong not, cascade and then, hops taste. And that's not a wheat? That's not a hefeweizen? It's, well, I, I haven't actually looked. I was just so happy with it. <laughs> Courageously crafted, uh, let's see here. It's uh, with this feisty white IPA to shoots uh, white knuckles again from the well-worn uh, path chain breaker fuses smooth wheat and spice low notes with hop. So it is okay. a wheat beer. All right, and it's a wheat beer. You had but to it's eat. it's fantastic. But they did put spice in, and oh, they didn't yeah. tell you what hops, but I'm going to tell you this has got to be Cascade. I mean, the, at it's least be. they use they at least use Cascade um, in the final seconds, you know, minutes uh, for the aroma because it was unmistakable. Just and, and just, but I wow, just yummy. It's okay. kind of it's kind of like the Belgo when I shouted out that, but this mm-hmm. one is really good. It's these companies have done such a great job at. At trying out new beers and giving the the market such a, a wider grasp so of here's, what we can do. Here's what I want to say with this one. Okay, this is a this is a double uh, shout out. But for those people that like life like hefs, like the hefeweizens or weissens or whatever, mm-hmm. like the lighter beers or summer, and for those that just love the aroma, the bouquet that comes off of some good hops, this has got all that. In addition to it, it's still really light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It has really some is. spices. I know there's some clove in there. Yeah, it's and gosh, and the hops are there. But for someone like me, that's not Mister. You know, I don't want to over hoppy, but I love the bouquet and, and the things, the flavors that come with it. it goes down so smooth. It's not heavily hopped as far as the flavor no, it's goes. Not. It's not, but heavily it's heavily hopped. hopped in the bouquet. Yeah, the bouquet is fantastic. The bouquet is like heavily hopped with Cascade. So you just pop the bottle and it just smells yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that along with the spices. Whatever all spices they use. We know there's cloves. So, I don't know what else. 
But, Cheers. But wow. for me, as a quick note, I would rank this an 86 because of the drinkability and how often I can drink this. This is a beer I would buy a 12 pack of and work on it over a couple weeks. This is just this is a good beer to me. So I'm gonna give this fine. I'm gonna give this two rankings, okay? I'm gonna give it first a ranking in terms of what I think in terms of have a license in general. And it's really unique. So based on the style that they were going for, I'm giving this an 87. Okay? Wow, I think that's pr pretty fair. Oh, yeah. Now, say so. based on my personal preferences on what I like when I think of it in those terms, I'll be honest, I'm going to give it about a 76. That's uh, pretty good for an IPA for him. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give it a 76. This is definitely something I would crack open in the summer and drink oh, yeah. and enjoy. 